Hi, I'm Chelsea Love. And I'm Matthew Schuler. And welcome to Purple Goes Green. Here on Purple Goes Green, every week we sit around and talk about ways to be more environmentally friendly. What's our focus this week, Matt? This week we're talking about going vintage. Um, just using less, consuming less, putting more st or less stuff into the system. Um, so we're just going to have five tips for you guys um, about how to go vintage. So Just a way to get more creative, especially with your clothing, your houseware, everywhere that you can possibly do this with. There's a lot of easy ways to do it. First of all, you can check out Rockstar and Rogers, which is in Aggieville. And Rockstar and Rogers is known as a costume shop, but they have plenty of vintage clothing, which is really helpful because it's better quality than sometimes. I know some of those secondhand stores you're not as big a fan of. And also, that's what I've done Like for my Halloween costume this past week. I went to a secondhand store. It's cheaper that way because we don't have tons of money, and then I'm not wasting energy by make, going out and buying something new. Yeah, Rockstar does a good job. They're on a, kind of an online thrift network, so they actually can import in thrift clothes. These pants came from there and different things. So they're a great store. Check them out. So. Absolutely. Uh, second tip um, we're going to talk about is getting like your dishes and some of your furniture from a secondhand store. Uh, Grand Old Trunk has some stuff. They have some stuff that's not so great, but they also have some stuff that's pretty stellar. So, um, especially like dishes, a lot of students will buy Walmart dishes and they'll break halfway through the semester or they'll just throw or away melt. their. Yeah, or anything. And, and so, especially furniture and dishes, um, check out secondhand stores. So. But if you are going to go to Walmart, there is a great resource that they have. What Walmart has been doing ever since the Go Green campaign started is they do Coke bottle shirts. And what it is, it's recycled Coke bottles that they melt down and make into t-shirts. So that's one way, if you are going to go to Walmart, buy something that's already recycled, not something that's completely new. Yep, exactly. All right, fourth tip, um, garage sales. Um, they are all over the place. They're usually well marked. Um, sometimes in the newspapers you can check for garage sales. There's a lot of really nice stuff, especially families that are going to move or, or anything like that. Um, sometimes even clothing, especially like furniture, coffee tables, and sometimes televisions, electronics. Um, and for college students, most of the time we're not as worried about making sure that all of our stuff matches. So that's what garage sales are great for. And then our final tip is just some websites that you can go to that are really good for just buying off of other people. There's what's mine is yours.com, um, clothingswap.com, and people can really utilize websites like eBay or Craigslist. For instance, I got my car off of Craigslist, and I know that you got your TV, was yeah, it? Yeah, television and, and table. So. It's just an easy way because people have that stuff out there. You might as well just buy it from somebody else and it's going to save you money and then you're not going to be buying something completely new. Right, yeah, less, a lot less consumer stuff in the system. Absolutely. So. Um, we have our ridiculous green gadget of the week, of course, uh, to go along with the USB flash drive made out of a tree um, that was last week. Um, we are talking about a bamboo laptop. Bamboo laptop. So now, if once you get your wooden USB drive, you can plug into your bamboo right, laptop exactly. through ASUS. It was ASUS? ASUS. ASUS. Yeah, ASUS. ASUS made it, which yeah. I think it's a little bit more viable than our wooden USB drive because there's a little, it, a little less chance of it shorting out and setting on fire. We're not sure how much of it is made of wood or bamboo. Um, you I can definitely check it out because we have the web site up there that you can link right, to. Right, the specs are pretty good for my, uh, four gigs of RAM and just different things like that. So. And it looks pretty interesting, so that's something to check out. That's right. Hope you don't get a short. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that's our show for this week. Thank you for joining us on When Purple Goes Green. I'm Chelsea Love. I'm Matthew Schuler.